I think I totally fluked this image. Seen it, went there, captured it, loved it. This is an absolute epic vlog and I am in love with this lens. Absolute cracker of a night. Enjoy this. This is where we're going to be photographing to tonight. It's the best that I could come up with location scouting wise to capture tonight's image. So fingers crossed we can actually get something. I'm going to go over to my left hand side just a little bit there. And over my right shoulder is Griselda Mountain where we photographed to the first location from Arcarula here. And that's what I want to be focused on tonight. 7300 shooting a panoramic image probably three to five images with a full moon and getting that beautiful blue and red or magenta hue when the sun is setting and the moon is rising. It should, should work out, fingers crossed. Let's get set up now and try and fluke this image. With the composition all set up, it's not ideal, but I am trying to fluke this image tonight because I've only been in two weeks, trying to work 55 hours a week, location scout, and then after work, go and capture these images. But the reason it hasn't worked out perfectly is I'm shooting about 80 mil for the first composition, so that panoramic of five images stitching across. I really wanted to shoot around that 135, 150 mil. So clearly, I'm not shooting that right now, but over my shoulder, there's a bigger mountain that I think I have to climb, probably double the distance of what I've walked already. But that's gonna give me two main things. One, the elevation to get a little bit higher to just really isolate Griselda Mountain there. And then secondly, get that focal range that we're after to make that moon a bigger presence. So where tonight I'm gonna to shoot about 80 mil, five stitch pano, and then capture that moon between Griselda and that other mountain in the background. The hard thing is I'm only here for two months this year, possibly coming back next year because of this beautiful night sky. But unfortunately, these type of images can only happen 12 times a year, the day before the full moon. So we're 99.7% moon rising tonight as the sun is setting. So it's that perfect sort of altitude that we're after. But when you're only getting it twice while you're here, you really have to make the most of those opportunities. So I'm really hoping tonight I can fluke it, get a crack an image, and move on to the next full moon in another 38, uh, 28 days. Photography, it's a wonderful thing. But I have to wait around now because the, well, the moon has actually risen. So in about four or five minutes, with that perfect distance with those beautiful hue colors that are already starting to happen, click away and hopefully just pull, pull one out of the hat. That's all I'm asking.
the moment we wanted to photograph is finally upon us. A little bit later than I anticipated. And that's not because the moon rose later. It's because it didn't hit the spot that I wanted to photograph until a little bit later. The sun set now for about 20 minutes. We're still getting those beautiful colors in the sky that we're after. They weren't the optimal conditions that I thought they'd be when I wanted to photograph. Once again, that high elevation, I captured the moon rising over the horizon a little bit quicker to get those perfect optimal conditions. But pre this, I did go through and get a panoramic with those optimal conditions and that beautiful sort of texture you get in the mountains as the sun is setting. So if I don't get the conditions that I want right now, I can go through and blend the moon and sky from that previous image into this moon image right now. And I'm very lucky with my 70 series tripod shooting panoramics. I've exposed it for the center frame and anything left or right of that, whether it's under or overexposed, is in compensation for the center exposure of the panoramic. Then I can just unlock the top plate of my tripod and spin it. And because I'm getting one over four for my shutter speed, shooting F8 160 ISO, there's a little bit of motion blur if I'm not careful. So what I can do is just unlock this top plate, lock it, photograph, unlock it, lock it again, photograph. I'm getting that 33% overlap from image to image. And that is why I designed these tripods to be absolutely magnifical for this type of photography. Right now, I want to go through and expose just for that full moon and blend it together with the beautiful exposure because that moon is a bloody bright moon tonight, 99.7%. And tell you what, I tell you what, if you've never experienced a full moon in the complete bloody whoop whoop of Australia, you're missing out. It is incredibly bright and you can see everything that you've ever wanted Tonight it's going to be a special night. I'm going to go through and get this exposure and here is this beautiful image of our Corolla. There you have it guys, I love this lens. The 70 to 300 is a dream lens. It didn't bother me with a hike up. It's small, it's versatile, it's got an incredible focal range, and damn, she is sharp. To capture images just like this, if I'm backpacking around the world, going for hikes, really nothing is off limit. Everything that was a little bit wrong with the 55-200 is mastered with this lens. It's an absolute belter. I can't believe I've just fluked this image. Yes, there's so much room for improvement, but I've never been to this location before, had a plan, went and done it and tried to execute. And now the plan that I've got will just hopefully get better and better because I'm getting out there and trying to improve my photography in incredible locations. What a special night. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I've had an absolute belt of being out here. I've, I, I have so much passion to show you so much of this rugged, beautiful, vast outback of Australia. It is an incredible place, a special place to my heart already I can feel. And there's still so much more to come. So please make sure to drop below and subscribe. If you want to learn how to shoot panoramics, make sure to jump up here and watch this video. It will help you out because everyone has to shoot panoramics. It's an absolute bloody lifesaver when you images just like tonight. Guys, there's nothing like being out there, creating content and photographing epic locations. So get out there, keep creating, keep inspiring. I love you all and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.